The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia is known for his lavish living and acquisition of expensive properties including luxurious yacht, cars, real estate and art. Well, when you belong to a family with a net worth of over a trillion dollars, there's hardly a limit to what you can do with money. Today, we're going to look at most expensive things owned by Saudis Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Let's start. Starting from his luxurious yacht. Owning a yacht is almost like a default for any billionaire. Mohammed bin Salman has a luxurious yacht that's name is Serene. The Serene is said to cost a whopping 500 million euros. The Serene was initially built for Russia's vodka tycoon Yuri Scheffler for $330 million by Italian shipyard Fincantieri, and her interior was styled by British designer design house Raymond Langton Design. With a length of 133.9 meters and a beam of 18.5 meters, she was one of the top 10 largest yachts in the world at the time of her delivery to the owner. To get this yacht on lease for a week, you will have to cough up $5 million. I mean that is what it cost American billionaire Bill Gates to have this for a week with his family on vacation in 2014. The Serene has the capacity to accommodate 24 guests in her 12 suites which include one VIP. Other accommodation options that are available are one master bedroom, seven doubles, and three twins with so many guests. It is only right for the yacht to be able to accommodate 62 crew members to attend to the needs of its guests. The yacht wouldn't be complete without multiple swimming pools, an underwater viewing room, and of course a full conference room. Well, there is more to the yacht as it has other features which include a dance floor, wheelchair accessibility, sauna beauty, salon elevator, satellite communications, gym, Wi-Fi, and air conditioning. The yacht Serene can be seen carrying a submarine and a helicopter tender. The submarine the yacht carries is a GSC Triest VAS 525 by 60 submarine. It is an all-electric submarine that can carry almost five people to a maximum depth of 160 meters for up to eight hours. The submarine has a price tag of $2.5 million, while the Eurocopter EC-145 has a list price of $5.5 million or more. Now to the exterior. The exterior is just as good as the interior as it was built with a steel hull and aluminum superstructure. Serene is powered by 10 TU diesel marine engines, which is enough for her to comfortably cruise at 14 knots, while having a maximum speed of 18 knots. This yacht is not your regular yacht, it is an award-winning yacht she won the World Super Yacht Award in 2012. The art has also been said to house another of the Crown Prince's extravagant purchases. The Salvatore Mendi. This brings us to the next expensive thing the prince owns this painting, called the Salvatore Mendi. The painting is said to cost almost the same amount as the Yacht Serene. This painting is said to have cost a whopping $450.3 million. I'm sure some of you are wondering why on earth he would splash that amount on a painting. Well, it is the work of the legendary Leonardo da Vinci, and paintings of this caliber aren't cheap and are rare. Although some art historians have argued that he only contributed to the painting and that to the work isn't entirely his. He is still the recognized artist of the Salvador Mendi. This amazing piece of artwork was purchased at an auction held in the New York Work Sales Room of Christie's on November 15, 2017. The artwork initially cost the previous owner Russian billionaire Dmitry Ribolovil $83 million. But it was sold for five times that price. Talk about a super profit, the crown prince wasn't the only one with eyes on the painting. The Qatari royals too had an interest in that. The Qatari royals were offered to the Salvatore Mendi for $80 million. But Mohammed bin Salman made sure nobody by him was going to be the owner. The painting is said to be the most expensive artwork ever bought, replacing the interchange that was sold for $300 million in 2015. The painting has also been dubbed the Mala Mona Lisa by some art historians. Well, since the purchase of the painting it has not been displayed in public but sources have revealed that it has been spotted on MBS Yacht Serene. As, there have been moves to get him to take a look at it Chateau Louis XIV. Well, if the art gallery takes too long to complete, he can have it moved to his French home. The Chateau Louis XIV the French mansion is another expensive thing the crown prince has splurged on the house had a price tag of $301 million at the time it was purchased in 2015. 
One thing this purchase and the Salvatore Mindy have in common is that they broke world records with their price. This house set a world record for a residential house when it was purchased. Maybe the Crown Prince does have a thing for breaking records. The mansion was constructed between 2008 and 2011, which is enough time to make this house a masterpiece. The property which is surrounded by moats and is situated on a 23-hectare walled site between Versailles and Marly Laura has a constructed surface area of 7,000 square meters, of which 5,000 square meters are living spaces. This house was said to have been built to pay tribute to King Louis XIV of France by Ahmed Khashoggi, who has had a hand in the renovation of historic buildings in France. It took 200 worker, 13 types of marble, and 15,000 sheets of gold to complete this architectural masterpiece. The gardens are one of the most attractive things about to the house. The gardens have been beautified with elaborate fountain statues and well-kept lawns. There is an outdoor pool and for the interior there is an indoor pool that has a rain spout falling from the ceiling impressive right. Wait till you see the next feature. One of the remarkable features of this house is its underground chamber which makes it look as if you are surrounded by a large aquarium. The interiors are lavishly furnished with fine furniture, expensive finishes, and cutting-edge amenities. Some of these are a library, a wine cellar that stores up to 3,000 bottles of wine, and a theater that can seats 20 people. The mansion is said to have 10-bedroom suites, two ballrooms. Another fascinating thing is expensive fleet of cars like his gold-plated Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport. This car costs a whopping $12.5 million and the Grand Sport has been recognized as one of the fastest street legal vehicles in the world. With a speed of 431 km per hour and a 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration in 2.5 seconds, that acceleration just about edges that of the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ which goes from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.8 seconds, and spending on luxury vehicles goes from 0 to 100 in the blink of an eye. Because he splurged almost 8 million to buy this Lamborghini, and, of course, covered it in gold. In fact, he owns a Rolls-Royce Phantom Drop Head Coupe, the Bentley Continental Flying Spur, a Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe, a Range Rover and a Mercedes G63 6x6 truck for a grand total of $36 million and of course he's covered them all in gold and even ornamented the chairs with gold-like embroidery. Wade he would not write, boys and girls, Mohammed bin Salman outside is building a city from scratch it's called Neom and it's the most ridiculously ambitious thing you've ever seen. First of all, Neom is a smart city under construction with a name from two words, the Greek word Neo meaning new and the abbreviation of the Arabic word for future. Basically, it's a city so futuristic. They had to name it twice, but seriously, when MBS announced this project in 2017, the plan of creating the first self-sustaining, advanced, smart and net zero carbon emissions city in the world was the promise. Would not you know it, it has a budget of $500 billion for its completion. This is a real thing guys. Seriously, you can look it up. It will be three times the size of New York City and will be designed in such a way that everything you need at any point in the city is within walking or cycling distance since you know there won't be cars or even traditional roads in neon. Instead, long distance transportation will be made using shared autonomous electric shuttles high-speed underground transit systems, and urban air mobility, not to mention the seaport will be the first fully automated seaport. And the experience at Neom Airport is seamless from the curb to the gate. At the end, MBS controls 553 million acres of land filled to the brim with crude oil. He is technically the second largest landowner in the world, ahead of the Pope and behind only the Crown and Queen of England.